antes de empezar con el vídeo, te agradecería que te suscribas y actives la campanita de notificaciones para llegar a los 20.000 suscriptores, que se acerca algo especial, a la vez que estés al pendiente de la comunidad, que siempre publico cosas ahí. Bueno, veo que te quedaste sin internet. ¿Quieres sentarte aquí al costado? Creo que aprovechando este momento que no tienes internet para ver este video, te recomendaría una página muy segura para comprar tus Robux cuando llegue tu internet. Y bueno, y sí, como lo viste y como lo estás viendo en pantalla, compra tus Robux en Quantum Shop. En esta página vas a poder comprar tus Robux de manera segura y económica. Pero bueno, si es que no sabes cómo comprar o es tu primera vez entrando a la página, lo que tendrías que hacer es solamente ir a donde dice cómo comprar y te saldrán todos los pasos. Y bueno, la página actualmente solamente está disponible en Chile, Colombia, Brasil y Perú. Pronto se irán expandiendo en más países. Así que si es que ya llegó tu internet y el video ya se está reproduciendo, te dejo que sigas viendo el video. Roblox, we're 21 Pilots, and welcome to our pre-show. We're coming to you today from Newport Music Hall in our hometown of Columbus, Ohio. We're so excited to be here with you on Roblox. We've got a huge show for you this week, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Hey guys, get those emotes going. I need to see the little movement. I'm not seeing enough movement. Look who's in the crowd. Kind of looks like your dad. There's my dad. Oh. Oh, cyborg the best board really there's also giant french fries we know we've got a huge community of fans from all over the world here on roblox so thank you all for coming and supporting us a special shout out to the 21 pilots group on roblox we see you we actually have a special video for you all josh tell them not many people know this but it's actually been 10 years since we had one of our first sold out shows here this place marked a huge milestone in our careers 10 years long time wow Check this out. So we're at the entrance of the famous uh, venue, Newport Music Hall. Now, you understand, Newport Music Hall was kind of the promised land for a local band here in Columbus, Ohio. If you could play a show at this venue, in some way, you have made it. Now, we played this venue many times, fortunate enough to headline it ourselves, but this venue for us kind of represents where Josh and I started, where we met, kind of what our sights were set on as a local band. And so we wanted to kind of just give you a tour of this awesome place. Over here in the merch tables, in these tables you had to kind of like fight for them because the other bands that were playing that day would try to get in position to put your merch in the best spot so that people when they would walk in, they would see your merch. What happens is a band comes in and plays, sells their merch, and also just puts a sticker on there to show people that they played here. So we actually have two, one right here and right here. That night, that I put that sticker right there on that merch table was the night that I met Josh. This is where we met. I think I was here. Yeah, and I came up, I actually- And you were walking this way, and I think, what, did I say something to you or did you say something? I said something to you, I was actually on my way out, and Tyler was here, I said, hey, I'm Josh, nice to meet you, great, great show. <laughs> and, That's right. um, and we kind of just began a conversation right here. Yeah. And uh, and then we kind of just made general plans to to hang out at some point. 
Yeah, we actually hung out. And uh, shout outs to the girlfriends that we had that we're no longer with. Hi, we're uh, Toronto Pilots, and uh, this is our show. We're in what's called the pit of the venue. My first few times coming here and uh, seeing shows, I realized quickly that this was where you wanted to be if you wanted to really be part of the show. People will jump, people will push, people will dance. As a local band, it was a big deal to be able to sell enough tickets to have anyone up in the second level. When we first started playing this venue, we would be on with nine other bands because you needed that many bands just to bring that many sets of parents to your show. Um, and then eventually we were able to sell our own tickets and then eventually we sold this place out and to walk up on stage and not only just see some people down here in the pit and the surrounding area, but to actually look up and see people in the second level on the balcony was a kind of a big moment for a, for a local band at Newport. <laughs> We were working regular jobs at a restaurant and you know, we had to do this on the weekends because we had to work during the week and being back here it reminds me of juggling school, juggling work and juggling that passion of music. We didn't know what our lives were going to look like and so it's cool to come back to this place and be reminded of how many questions have been answered since then. So now we're up on the stage, and when we were playing here as a local band, we, we didn't have crew, guys that worked for us, so we had to set up our own instruments in front of everybody. So we'd put a hoodie on, and we'd pretend like it's not us, and we'd walk over, and Josh would set his drums up, and I'd put, you know, plug in all my instruments, and people would cheer, because they're like, I know that's them. And we're like, no, it's not us yet. Just wait. So we'd set all our instruments up, then we would leave, take our hoodies off, and then come back out on stage. We were different people. I think we got 15, 1,800 people in this venue. After that show that we played on the stage for a sold out crowd, that next day we had 13 different labels calling us, wanting us to sign to them. So something really magical happened after this particular show in this particular venue. And to think that playing in front of, you know, 1,800 people in here compared to what we're going to do playing in front of millions of people in Roblox is, uh, is pretty crazy to think about. Well, we have given you a little tour of one of our favorite venues, if not our favorite venue in the world, which is Newport Music Hall in Columbus, Ohio, our hometown. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed the little tour, given a, a little bit of a history to our band. And uh, now we're going to throw it back to Tyler and Josh sitting on stools. Thanks, guys. This is such a trip down memory lane. To our most dedicated fans, thank you for your support over the years. Music to us, it really did save us, and uh, it means a lot to us, and we've always believed in the art of storytelling and songwriting. Music videos have always been really important to us in communicating what the song is saying. A lot of times it's really powerful to be able to put a visual, an intentional visual, to a song to really show people what it is we're trying to communicate with that song. And each song on this newer record is its own little story. When you zoom out, they're all connected as well. And we're still in the process of connecting those dots for you guys. And if you want to dive into what story we've been telling for the last 10 years, we've got a lot of stuff that we've been working on in the past and in the future. Josh and I, we believe in albums. We love a group of songs that are meant to be together. These songs are aware of each other. We love that these albums can connect to each other as well. So we've been telling this story with all these albums for a while now, and the story's not over yet. The color of the record really has a lot of meaning to it. Our record, Blurry Face, 
had a lot of red, and that color represented a certain character in the story. And then the next record, Trench, was uh, very green and yellow, and green represents the natural side of this world and how we're starting to get more and more cemented in our cities and in our routines. And then that yellow really represented a way to mark your friends, mark alliances. It was like, this person is for me. We felt like at shows, that's been really awesome to see, playing concerts and seeing our fans in person. And then the new record, Scaled and Icy, very blue, but almost in a neon way. It's trying to compensate for the lack of color. That record was written mostly alone, in isolation. These songs on this latest record is a testament to that. Getting ready for our first concert on Roblox was like nothing we've ever done before. Here's a little peek behind the scenes. We are doing motion capture for our Roblox concert. There are sensors all throughout this thing. Uh, so whenever we move, our avatars move. I think this is a $12,000 suit. I was told. It's tight. It is tight. Don't tilt down. What do you think? I feel great. <laughs> 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 I'm starting to break sweat. I'm gonna smell great after the end of this day. I'd have to take the suit off, yeah. and so my, my body would just be like... That's <laughs> <laughs> interesting, then now I got I mean, it could literally be doubles. It would be mirrors of me or whatever. Yeah. I like that lean, like all three like lean over. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we're working mainly on just getting the capture of our facial expressions. It looks so funny. No! Oh, that is very tight. Let's test Tyler. Give me a wide open mouth. All the way down. Love you, ass kiss. I'm fine. Everything's fine. You want to talk to your mom again? Oh, yeah. Hey, mom. Oh, that's a Should we just throw this? So, that's it. We captured motion, we captured audio, face stuff. Josh and I were in suits. We were playing the show in this green screen area. And to end the video, you can screenshot this and do whatever you want to me. Boy, that green screen is not a good idea, Tyler, but we'll see. Yeah, but at least I think we looked pretty sweet we in those sweet. Uh, suits, huh? We did look sweet. Um, we should have taken them home with us, honestly. I know. Speaking of look pretty sweet, I noticed that uh, some of you in the crowd are sporting that sweet 21 Pilots Oh, beat. is that an emote? Is that uh, an emote? I'm pretty sure that's on, is that my, an emote? on my wish list for sure. Yeah. One thing that we're, we're very used to is playing in front of a live audience. Playing in a room, capturing... Uh, our movements down to the T, it's very different. One portion of it is capturing our body movements and then our facial expressions, which is another interesting thing to just be focusing on while we're performing, comparing it to live. We'll be here on a stage and those things just come naturally. Um, and, and at first Josh was smiling the whole time. No one wants the drummer to be smiling the whole time. Not the whole time at least. You have to find inspiration in what the product is going to be rather than really just experiencing the product as it's happening, which is usually how it happens with a live show. When this opportunity came along to work with Roblox on a virtual concert where we have an avatar who is mimicking all of our facial expressions and our body movements, it just it brought me back to when all we wanted to do was find new ways to get in front of people. The partnership with Roblox just made sense because what it is, is just a platform to be as creative as you could possibly imagine. When we started our band, there was never really this platform to be able to perform virtually. Being able to be here live in Roblox, uh, we're able to sort of have an interaction with you from afar that maybe we never would have been able to do before. There's a lot of similarities. You're experiencing the same thing at the same time. That's really the thing that people walk away from 
live shows, they remember that. They remember the person they were shoulder to shoulder with. They remember um, the other people around them that they experienced that with and who, who, they, who they brought along, who they invited, um, what new friend they made at that show. That's such a important part of what makes live music so amazing. And the only reason why we want to do a virtual concert is because we believe that still exists in this way as well. This community is amazing, so thank you so much for letting us do this. Before we go, we thought it'd be fun to play a little game. Here's how the game's gonna work. We've got a bunch of questions here, and we're gonna pick some out um, and see which person knows the other better. You know, I wanna write some things down for Josh, vice versa. Uh, we're only a two-man band, so let's see if we're still best friends. You ready, Josh? As ready as I'll ever be. I said, not that short. Oh, I said, pretty cool guy. Oh, <laughs> I think I thought maybe you were tiny yeah. before we met in person. Next. Backyard party, Athens, uh, Ohio, cops. I wrote somewhere in Michigan. There was another drummer and- uh, Yeah, he was filling in for the first show and then this was the show that he was actually in yeah, with the band. And right. the cops came and shut us down. I would get Tyler a gift card to a famous fast food taco shop. Thank you. I give you a pedicure on the beach. Thank you. <laughs> this is this is why we don't give each other gifts because this is our reactions. Thank you very much, <laughs> for sure. Oh man, I don't know how to spell it. Yeah, there's no. You're gonna botch this so hard. Show the world how you tried to spell the pea cannon. <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell Cannon, yeah. is that Paco right? Cannon. Yeah, it's the, the wedding song. Yeah. yeah that's it's a beautiful <laughs> song. He's always like, guys, I need my PBJ, my percussion, my bongos, and my drums. <laughs> my drums? Yeah. There's no bongo, there's no show. <laughs> All right, two things that I know that Tyler needs backstage would be energy drinks, and video games. Yep, in that order, actually. Tyler would probably play Heathens as a warning. Yeah. Uh, to the uh, to the space tourists you and um, just to let them know what what they're dealing with. Aliens, I know you're out there. You can't mess with us. Yeah. Most people don't know that we wrote this song. Uh, Mambo number four. The prequel, yeah. Before the number five one. A little bit of Tyler. Tyler, <laughs> all night long. Yeah. No. <laughs> I feel like that was the remix. I sang that part? I think. <laughs> I was drumming. Ooh. I just wrote Tyler. You think I'm cleaner? Tidier, I think. I oh, think let, we... me, let me answer mine. Yeah, go ahead. Mine is also me, but. Josh smells nicer. You do better with hygiene, but I'm oh. more organized. So I smell like a taco truck, but I know where all my tacos are. That smells nice. <laughs> How often have you passed a taco truck and been like, that smells bad? Paul Rudd. Oh, yeah, that's a good choice. Right? The Rock would play Tyler really well. I do feel like that works. I think Josh would be a pretty good superhero, honestly. I feel like most superheroes are very encouraging and, you know, um, always trying to find the good in others. Yeah. And I feel like you would probably do that. Did you change your answer? No, I wrote the same exact thing. <laughs> because I uh, only want to be encouraging and I always... Hmm. You're lucky I can't read. <laughs> wow. I do think that you would like to have four arms. That would be cool. But also you're invisible. So no one can see that you have four arms. And you're also unconvincing. So no one believes you that you have four arms. You're basically really frustrated in this circumstance. Yeah, because there's no way to prove it. Tyler would want to be a salamander. Okay, on the right. Who okay. never gets caught by a human. Uh, and he can swim 100 miles per hour. It's a I mean, fast who, Sally. Yeah, who wouldn't want that?
Oh. It's, a, it's a Roblox version of a salamander who can evade getting caught by humans and can swim 100 miles per hour. Got it. This is Josh's guy. Um, I try to incorporate that S that we all draw. I'm not a good drawer, um, but I am really good at drawing that S. Well, I am a good drawer, so... That was a lot of fun. I learned some things about you, you learned some things about me. You know, some good, some bad. For sure. For sure. Well, now it's time that we uh, get some rest because we want to look really good uh, for the performance. So we're hoping that you had as much fun as we did working on this with Roblox, and we'll see you back here Friday. Peace.